hello welcome to my channel is today your first time seeing this channel you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome on today's video i'm i will be showing you how to achieve this beautiful skirt you're seeing right now it was requested by one of my subscriber the item you'll be needing to draft this pattern is your pattern paper or your fabric you'll be needing your table your scissors your pattern mustard your chalk or your um, marker pen you'll be folding placing your fabric on fold or you cut it into two but make sure the the back is two inches bigger than the front so you'll be using that for your zip allowance so this skirt we'll be making is a high waist skirt also a bandless skirt so because of that we will be marking three inches down to create our natural waistline before we will create the high waist so you mark down three inches mark three inches mark three inches i'm marking a lot of lines so i would get accurate line now you draw the line so from that line now you'll be start making all your vertical measurement from that is your natural waistline from the, my natural waistline to my hip is eight inches that is my hip point you mark the line you cross check to be sure the line are accurate you mark from that waistline you mark your mid, uh, mini skirt length my mini skirt length is 13.5 that is how long i want it to be that mini skirt length is where we are going to attach the uh, the the width on those design you see you, you saw at the front you label it mine was not showing because i was using chalk but make sure you label yours to know all your marking from your natural waistline you mark down your skirt length my skirt length is 35 i added one inches for hemming allowance make sure you draw the line so it will be easy for you to draw all your round circumference measurement From my hip points, I will be marking my hip circumference divided by 4. It's 9.75, but I approximate it to 10 inches. From that natural waistline, you are going to mark 2 inches upward to create your new waistline. That is your high waist measurement. You draw the line. So from that new waistline, you will be taking your hip measurement divided by 4. So you can square the the line to be able to get all your waist and your your shape of your hips you square the line now that is your hip measurement round at the square bus you are going to take down your hip your waist measurement my waist is 28 divided by 4 is 7 and i'll be adding one inches for my dart allowance but that that we are not going to use it you can decide to use it or you can decide not to you will see what i will do if you want to use your dart, you use. If you don't want, you can laminate it. But I'm not. I will. I won't be using it. Now you use your hip cuff to connect your point. So my uh, the measurement I took from my hip is ten inches. So I'm going to minus one point five. To so the total width from my hem allowance is eight point five. You use your long ruler to connect. Connect the point from your hip to your 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 hem. Find your midpoint from your waist to mark your dart. Mark whatever thing that gives gives you. You come down to your hip line to get the straight line. You need to mark whatever thing that gives you from your waistline. Mark it there. To your middle of your uh, uh, hip and from there you mark up two inches the rest of it is your dart length you connect it mark 0 0.5 for the both side to connect your dart length make sure you cross check 
zero point five. You connect it. Add zero point five up there for joining allowance. From your hip line, you connect the line. From your hip line, mark 1.5 for zip allowance. From your back waist, you connect the line out, like you see me doing. Make the center back line visible. So you will know where all your marking is going to start from. From your waist, from your back waist, minus 0 0.5 for waist snatching. You mark 0 0.5 outward. Connect your 0 0.5 from your waist to meet with your 1.5 at your hip. You're going to connect it together to meet with the 1.5. From your mini skirt length, mark 1 inches. Mark 1 inches from the hemline. Mark 18 inches upward. For your slit opening, mark 18 inches upward for your slip opening. Mark that for you to get accurate line. You make a mark. Mark from where the one inches stop from upward to join to the the hip line. You're going to mark 0 0.5 for sewing allowance all round. Make sure you add 0 0.5 sewing allowance. Or you can decide to do that when you are cutting on the fabric. But sometimes I prefer to, to add my allowances while I'm drafting. Now let's connect all our markings. And you cut out all your pattern but before you do that you need to mark your that to your back pattern to to do that you pin down your from your dark length like you see me doing you mark it there you make your notches so it will be easy for you to connect your dart from the back You connect it there by the time you take off your front pattern now let's cut the pattern out we're going to cut both the back and the front together now we connect the dot the back dot Connect all the three points together. And you're going to label it. So when next you're going to use it, you know which one is which one. Label your zip. That is your zip allowance. Moving on to the front pattern. Place your tail from your middle skirt line uh, point. Mark four inches down. Mark four inches down. And you connect it. Mark 3.5 inches. 
another 3.5 inches because I want the total strap to be 4. I do the same to the down. From those marking, I'm trying to demonstrate to you to know how your skirt is going to look like after you have finished with those design. You mark them three inches. From three inches, you draw the line. From that three inches mark, you mark down four inches for the straps. You draw the line. You're going to repeat the same thing just like you did at the first line. You mark down 3.5 into two places. You do the same at the upper side. The side that we are not making any mark on is where the fabric, is, we are going to attach all the strap from end to end to. From the point I'm touching my scissors are where you are going to cut down. From here, I'm not going to cut it down because I already make a pattern. The pattern that I'm going to use to cut this fabric which is this pattern right now so i'm going to try to assemble it for you to see what i'm talking about i make a, a label it so i will know which one which one is which to cut that is the first the first one and that the second and that is the third pattern and that is the number three actually so there was a, a mistake when i draft this pattern at first i did a mistake so that is why i redraft the first pattern i was showing you so on this very one i did a mistake but it was corrected when i was cutting it on the fabric here's my waistband that is the back Pin down the waist that and you place it on your fabric make sure you're cutting on fold this is the front pattern make sure you're cutting it on fold at 0 0.5 joining allowance while you're cutting because those straps you're seeing we are going to join it together with our lining Make sure you pin your 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 dart down so it will not distract you when you are cutting. Just like you see me doing, make sure you arrange everything to be equal. Because I've already had my sewing allowance while I was cutting by the side, I don't need to add allowances anymore. The only allowance I needed to be adding was the, the, the hem allowance where I need to join the strap and the lining together. We are going to repeat or uh, cut all the pieces like you see me doing. That is the second pieces. But these pieces, we are going to uh, cut it in pieces to create those straps. This is the, the, the middle pattern. This very one will be needing it to join the bootstrap to the middle skirt and to the down uh, pieces. I'm trying to uh, arrange it to know which one and which one I'm cutting. Make sure you don't make mistake. This very one is a strap as well. That is the down strap. And that is the last uh, pattern. Make sure you add your 0 0.5 for hemming allowance. After adding 1 inches for hemming allowance, I still add half an inches.
so here are my patterns my fabric cord they are ready i'm trying to assemble it so i can know where to start with my markings the pieces are ready you can see is that is taking shape already on this marking that was that i'm taking right now i i find that that it was too much the the strap was too much so on this i made a mistake i would say it, i made a mistake but i later corrected by reducing it to 3.5 on each size so from a uh, each side i later got um two two strap on each side two from the other side and two from the other side this side so in total it was four strap so we'll be needing eight strap now i'm eliminating the back pattern uh, uh, that so i can be able to cut the the back pattern just as you see me doing please follow the step if you don't understand it what i'm trying to explain just follow the step Now our back pattern is ready. Now place your fabrics or your pieces that you cut on your lining to cut them out. Repeat all this process as you see me doing for both the back and the front. You make sure you iron iron your your fabric so it will stay in place and if your fabric is the type that move around mostly your lining make sure you pin it down you're going to repeat all the same step like you see me doing place down all your pieces on your lining and cut it just as you see me doing right now Now let's cut the waist lining. You're going to repeat the same step, both the front and the back. So our waistband is ready. Let's cut the straps, those straps that we're going to use to design the front skirt. Fold in 1.5 inches and cut all the pieces just like you see me doing. But when you're going to sew it, you're going to leave it with 0.75 as the weight you can decide to leave your weight by 0.5 or 2 inches depend how wide you want your weight to be the strap to be but mine i want it to be 0.75 because at the end of the day is four straps on each side we are going to use you will see when we are sewing repeat the same step to your desired strap you want 
how much you want it depends how many strap you're going to cut out so we are coming to the end of this tutorial i want to say a big thank you if you watched this far i want to say thank you and please don't forget to leave your comment below if you find anything difficult to draft this pattern with me leave your comment down below i will be sure to respond to you when i'm i can and please don't forget to subscribe turn on your post notification to get notified when i'm going to post the sewing tutorial on this video and don't forget to give me a thumbs up <laughs> so it will, that will be encouragement for me to do more for you guys there, there there is going to be a lot of sewing tutorial on this channel there are a lot of going to be sewing there are do diy basically do anything sewings as long as you have your sewing machine anything that has to do with sewing your girl is here to show you how to do it so thank you once again for watching see you on the sewing tutorial bye